This is the video tour of 1933 Wintergreen Drive. It's in front of the house. You can see the proximity to the neighbor there. They've got a drainage separation in between the property, which is nice. So this is looking down the street to the east. This is looking south. And that is looking west. So you've got established trees in the front yard, nice desert landscaping, three car parking space, got a flagstone courtyard here, which makes for a nice outdoor dining space. And then in the front courtyard here, you got a pretty good view of the mountains. You can see Mount Wrights in the distance there. Might be able to see we still got a little bit of snow remaining in the mountains. But nice separation here between your neighbors. Established trees. That's a looks like a lemon tree. A few lemons hanging. That large double door entry. As you walk in, you see the ceramic tile and carpet. Lots of space in this home. You can see they have a sprinkler system. So the carpet uh, might not look, it's not the worst carpet I've ever seen, but this carpet just needs to be replaced. It's old, worn, stained in spots. So I've got plantation shutters, which is a pretty nice upgrade to have. Plenty of room for a dining space. This is where you could do like your Christmas tree. And then off the great room, you have an office here. Plenty of countertop space and shelving. And there's also a window. That goes to the master, which we'll check out in just a second. Here's a thermostat. It's a Honeywell unit. Got nice high ceilings in here. Makes for a large open feel space. This would be a living room. Open concept to the kitchen. Got a dining space over there, like a breakfast nook type space. So the kitchen is really nice. There's nothing that needs to be done in here. These cherry cabinets look great. Got really nice appliances in here. This is thick bullnose granite. Nice gas cooktop. Nice windows looking out to the back. And you've got really good privacy separation in between the homes to your north. You're probably 150 yards away from any homes. And then you've got a wash running in between, so you're never going to have issues with anyone building in between. So in here we've got a butler's pantry set up. Got slide outs in the pantry area. Going towards the master. We've got storage underneath the stairs here. Got a guest bathroom, these are tile countertops. Everything looks fine in here. So throughout the house, we'll just notice little small things. I mean, the whole house needs a paint job. It's got, you know, wear and tear. Here's another example. You see this 
throughout a lot of the house. So here's the master. Carpet needs to be replaced in here. It's just worn and old. Got really high ceilings. Nice plantation shutters. There's evidence of, you know, they've got wall hangings all throughout the house or where wall hangings were. So, and here's some of the, that is uh, signs of previous water damage. Here is some more signs of previous water damage. I've noticed this throughout uh, the home in a few more spots. It's not throughout the entire home. It seems to be on the north edge of the home. Of course, that's something that you would want to have checked out with a home inspection. Wear and tear items on the walls here. Master bathroom is really nice. You've got this jetted tub. Got a nice tiled walk-in shower. Here's your toilet area. More wear and tear on the walls. You got dual vanities. And some linen storage here. Walk-in closet. Spacious, there's plenty of room in here. This is so big it could actually be used as an extra bedroom. You could Airbnb the walk-in closet. More wear and tear. And so headed this direction takes us towards the garage. There's an additional bedroom here. Got more wear and tear. Plantation shutters. This is a standard size room. I have a painter that could take care of all of this. Really nice large uh, laundry room. Got plenty of space for folding table, cabinets, keep things organized. So in this sign, They've got, uh, please excuse our mess. We've just got a bunch of stuff in here. But you can see it's a large three car garage. There's a utility sink. And they've got a water softener set up, which is nice to have because Arizona has hard water. So over there, they've got a newer water heater. You can see it was manufactured in 2014. So this is really a nice sized garage. It's kind of hard to see with all the stuff, but uh, you could easily fit three full size vehicles in this garage. Garage would need to be painted also. All right, so before we go upstairs, we'll take a look out back, which the backyard is great. You've got these huge windows, tall sliding glass door, lots of natural light in this house. So this is a north facing backyard. So the shade that we have here, you're always going to have that shade in Arizona is uh, pretty important to have. Got a nice size backyard here, plenty of room for entertaining, so flagstone, back porch, you can see they got a dog door there, there's ceiling fans out here. I haven't seen any water damage on the back porch. Got this roll down solar screen for when the sun is setting in the west. There's a side gate here. 
Got a putting green here to practice your putting game, or you could take this up and just have regular synthetic turf put down. So here's the wash to the north of the house. See the natural desert vegetation. You probably see lots of wildlife moving through. You got a saguaro there. So nice privacy to your north. And over here, they've got a gas fire pit set up. A nice spot to sit and look at the mountains change colors during sunset. And again, you've got this good privacy with your neighbor to the east there. Here's the side gate on the east side of the house where your citrus trees are. So now we'll head upstairs. There's two bedrooms up there. This looks like uh, somebody spilled something. It's not water damage, but uh, somebody was, had a, looks like a sugary drink and spilled it against the wall. More wear and tear stuff. Got a linen closet here. Guest bathroom upstairs. Everything looks fine in here, just need the cleaning. You can see one of the cabinet doors is askew. Some damage here. Your upstairs thermostat. Zoned system. This is a large room. And I don't know what they had going on in here. There's different colors. On the wall, you can see different types of wear and tear. Yeah, I don't know what all that is. Nice plantation shutters, dirty carpet. It needs to be replaced. You do you have a nice mountain view up here? And that's looking south and west, the Cerro Colorado Mountains. Standard size closet. Looks like some damage to the uh, closet door there. More damage. These are all things that could be patched by the uh, painter, but it's something to take note of. Wear and tear in the rooms. I think they must have had some younger people living with them or something like that. Because this is, there's a lot of, you know, signs that they had stuff all over the walls. The good thing is I haven't seen any of these window seals that are failed. Normally you'll you'll notice that these are kind of cloudy or they'll have condensation in between. I haven't seen any of that staining the carpet. So full paint job, full carpet job at the minimum. And then whatever uh, other finish changes you might want to make. Paint job on a house this size is going to be probably $7,000.
my guy would tape everything and spray it. Carpet is going to probably run you, well, depending on what type of flooring you went with, but if you replace the carpet the way it is, you're going to be probably six, maybe $7,000. All things to keep in mind. But it could be a very nice house. Just need some attention. And that is it.